How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm very excited to talk about the class list in JavaScript. So a class list allows you to quite powerfully modify the list of classes attached to an HTML element. So you can add, remove, toggle and even replace classes. But first we need to actually make an element to work with. So in the body tag we'll make a new paragraph element and give an ID of my para. For the text inside here, we'll just say yeah mate. Simple as that. Now we're going to change classes. So inside the style tag here, I'm going to define a new set of CSS rules, um, and these will be classes which we will attach and you know modify on this paragraph tag to see the visual changes. So let's make a new set of rules here. We'll make one called uh, bolt and give it a font weight of bolt. We'll make one called, let's just say, um, red BG, red background, give it a background of red. We can make one called white text, give a text color of white, and also one called big font with a font size of 36 pixels. So now we can. Uh, we can mess with this right here and apply and remove all these classes to see the actual visual changes. So now in the JavaScript we can begin by getting a reference to this paragraph element. So we can define a new constant called my para equal to document dot get element by ID. You guessed it, my para. Alright. So now we're simply going to log out the class list property of this mypara element. So let's say console.log mypara.classlist. We can save this, go in the browser and refresh. And we see here we have a DOM token list with no uh, values inside it because clearly this paragraph tag hasn't got a class attribute starting out. So now we're gonna inside here modify the list of classes for this paragraph element. So let's add a class. Let's add this bold class to this element. What we can do is we can say myparaclassLists.add. so calling the add method we're gonna add bold. Oh, just like that. We can save this, go in the browser and refresh and we see the text is now bold and in the console we see we have the bold added to this DOM token list aka this class list. Perfect. Now also keep in mind that you can actually add multiple elements in one go. So we can add bold and within the same method call we can say also comma we want to add big font so big font this will add two let's save this refresh and we get big font and bold added to that paragraph tag we can also remove elements sorry remove classes this is done by calling myparaclassList.remove. let's remove bold there we are now, we can also uh, replace the class of an element. So, we have right now in this class list, we have we've added bold and big font, we've removed bold, so now we're left with big font added to this paragraph tag. Now, let's replace big font with red background. Okay. We can say myparaclassList.replace. We're going to replace big font with red background. We can save this and see our changes in the browser. We'll refresh and we get just the red background added to this uh, paragraph tag. Inside the elements tab here, we see mypara with the class of red bg. So we can see that 
we have removed bold from this list right here and we've replaced big font with red background. Now what's interesting is you can actually toggle the classes and this means basically when you toggle um, if you toggle a class and the class exists on that element then it'll be removed but if you toggle at a point in time where it's not there it'll add it so for example what we can do is we can we can toggle red background so calling my para dot class list dot toggle and then red background what's happening is because red background currently exists on this element toggle will remove it so if we save this refresh we should see no red background and there we are but now if we call toggle once again so we're calling toggle right after it's now going to add it to the class list once again we'll refresh and it adds it so toggle will add it if it doesn't exist if it if it is there then it will remove it and finally we have a method called contains so here we haven't actually used white text yet so we're going to go down here and we're going to ask the question does this my para tag contain the class white text so let's log out so we're going to log out the result of this my para dot class list dot contains so does it contain white text we should see false in the console right now we we'll go in here refresh and we get false we can also say yep my para dot class list dot contains red bg clearly it does right here this time we get true and that is how you can use the class list property in javascript Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.